Bally, hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Frida? You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Temperature's going down today, though, which I'm not happy about. But anyway. It's so cold, isn't it? Congratulations on Alleluia. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's uh, it's lovely to hear what people are saying congrats- about it. Congratulations on your performance as well. Um, I wondered how much you actually knew about the part when you auditioned for it. Oh, absolutely nothing. Uh, I knew all I had, you know, like oh. what actors get. They literally have, they have uh, the, the name of the project. So Alleluia. We have Alan Bennett. And then I had Sir Richard Eyre, and I was like, "I'm I'm going for this. I'm absolutely going for these self tapes. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna land them. I'm gonna go for it. I'm really going for it." So, um, I auditioned. I did a couple of speeches. It was a couple of the speeches in it, uh, and then Richard rang me up, and uh, he said, "I wanna I wanna offer you the part personally. Offer you the part." And I was like, "Wow, this is incredible." Um, and then he said, "Do you know who else is in it?" And I said, uh, I haven't got a clue. Who else would be in it? Anyway, Jennifer Saunders, Judy Dench. And as soon as he as soon as he said Judy Dench, I just heard white, it was white noise. It was like, eh. and I went, okay, cool. And I missed everyone else's name, everyone else's name I'd missed. Um, and I rang my mum straight away and I said, You're never gonna believe who's in this. <laughs> So what what's it like going into an audition if you like cold, knowing nothing? You know, it's it's quite petrifying. I think it is really, really petrifying um, because because it, you you just want to have all the information. I think you just want to know stuff, uh, and you're playing. You know, sometimes you're playing a scene or a character, and you don't have you don't you don't have the rest of the scene or what's happened before, what's happened afterwards. But um, I was quite fortunate with with the scenes that they did choose. They were quite meatier sort of scenes about about his actual his feelings and the way he is as a human being Dr Valentine who are playing and and so it wasn't as it wasn't as difficult as being given you know certain other pieces of text so I felt quite uh, fortunate that I had a little bit more. You mentioned you you're acting with Judy Dench and I can totally understand why you heard no other names once that had been mentioned but of course she does have this reputation for being a terrible giggler and a bit of a prankster on set and I wondered if you had any direct experience of this I mean were there any scenes that you just to stop because she was making you corpse yeah there was a lot of there was a lot of corpsing there was a lot of laughing there was a lot of judy telling me lovely um naughty stories about what in the industry that she used to pull pranks on people and um stories that i cannot repeat because uh, no one should know about them oh please you can't, go you on. Can't hear about you have, to hear, you have to ask judy judy has to i'm sworn to secrecy i will not tell anyone um <laughs> But she is she you know what the most <laughs> the, the, the best thing about Judy is like she is so down to earth that you know people would walk past me and would be having a joke or laughing they're like do you know who you're talking to you know who you're just hanging out with and just having a crack and having a joke with and I'll go yeah but you know what she is so down to earth she's just so she's just she's like one of the one one yeah. one of, you know the like one of the one of the boys but you know in, in that sort of same um vein of just being so approachable and so giving as well massively giving so um I've got nothing but good things to say about her (laughs) and you mentioned the character you play Dr Valentine who's a very idealistic doctor really Mm. um I wondered how much time you spent in hospitals talking to real doctors and member members of staff as part of your research I did. Uh, we we unfortunately I wasn't allowed to go into any of the hospitals because we were filming in the COVID times. You know those the, the times where we were not allowed to go in. They weren't having uh, people uh, kind of shadow or anything like that. But I I ended up speaking to a lot of um, sp- specifically geriatricians and and doctors and nurses and uh, uh, talking about the medical profession. Um, a lot of research online. Um, and and then kind of like what that that research kind of walked into the film but then the film really deals with the human connection of people it really deals with the patients and their stories and him listening to to and learning a lot from the people that he's treating um so it's interesting how you get the you get the initial research and you know you do all the character work and the accent work and the the physicality and then you bring that into the film and then it kind of morphs and changes so um I had a little bit of everything really 
Ali, it's been great to talk to you. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Yeah. And like I say, congratulations on the film. Thank you. No, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!